What a year it has been thus far for our UTSA Roadrunners, and welcome back everybody to another edition of UTSA Football in the UTSA Dynasty. Today, UTSA's mission is to continue their winning streak of three games. They are now 4-1 on the year, off to their best start in team history, and already have the highest win total they've had over the course of their FBS life. This is their third year in the FBS. And with a 4-1 start, this team could do some damage and make their first bowl appearance in team history, which would do wonders for the program. Today's mission is to get past the UTEP Miners at home in the Alamo Dome and improve to 5-1 on the year. And let's not waste any time as we head on over to the Alamo Dome. It's a packed house for Week 7 football as we near the midpoint of the season. Today's breakdown shows that UTEP has the better statistical advantage over UTSA, but Kirk Herbstreet and a lot of the panels are getting on the bandwagon right now as as UTSA is hot and they are off to the best season so far, the best start in team history. We get at you now with first quarter action. UTSA will begin this game on offense. Quarterback John Simmons, of course, filling in for the injured. Evan Newton lines up under center. He'll take off on the opening snap, and he'll go up past the 30-yard line. He has a first down for UTSA. And now David Glasgow takes the handoff. Can't find any running room, but he breaks it outside and breaks a tackle. He'll cross the 40-yard line. It's second down and three coming up. Glasgow in the backfield. Richie Battle playing tight end right now, and he sets the edge for Glasgow as he crosses midfield and Glasgow has a first down into UTEP territory. UTSA off to a solid start on offense as Simmons takes the first down snap. No pass rush. U uh, UTEP is just defending the edges and daring UTSA to beat them. And Richie Battle gets open and Simmons hooks up with them for a first down catch. And that'll set up second down and 13. Simmons looking to take off. Wants running room. He dives and fumbles the football. It's picked up by UTEP. A mistake made by the senior John Simmons. He dove instead of slid and it ended up resulting in a fumble it's UTEP football now after a good start by UTSA and what a catch by Nathan Jeffrey he is UTEP's leading receiver coming into this contest and he gets them into UTSA territory already and now Tomlinson gets open he's up close to the 20 yard line as John Walker couldn't cover him on the play and will go ahead third down and two Nathan Jeffrey in the backfield Simpson takes the snap Garrett Simpson to throw he'll lob it to the outside it's intercepted by John Walker Walker, he makes up for the completion, and he's not going to stop now. He's going to break this one across the 30. He will go if he's not caught. He crosses the plane. Touchdown, Roadrunners. They have the game's first points on a pick six by John Walker. UTEP now the football again as Josh Bell breaks up the middle with plenty of running room. He gets the first down for UTEP up to the 40-yard line as Simpson looks to avenge that turnover that led to seven points for the UTSA Roadrunners. He'll take off on first and ten. Running room, first down and more. He'll take the hit and not slide. He elects to get a couple extra yards. He gets maybe a gain of 14 yards. Bell still in the game. He'll break John Walker's tackle up the middle and he will push ahead for a first down. Good power running by the senior. And UTEP finds themselves within striking distance again on first and 10. Simpson to Patterson over the middle. It's a slant route connection for a first down. And now third and goal from the one. Simpson, single back handoff to Nathan Jeffrey. He goes up and over and he scores. UTEP has tied the game at seven apiece as we near the end of the first quarter. Third down and six for UTSA. And John Simmons hooks up with Cam Jones with a conversion. He'll keep this drive moving and they avoid the three and out. Second down and eight handoff to Anthony Banks, the electrifying sophomore. He'll get about six on this carry. Power running to the left side. UTSA would convert it. Now first down and ten. Simmons off of the play action being chased. A fumble and UTSA recovers, but that would end up being the drive killer as UTEP takes over after a punt. And Simpson back in the game. Patterson can't handle this one. It's nearly intercepted by Kyle Nichols and Mike Butler is in the vicinity as well. And now UTSA is back on offense. John Simmons to throw over the middle. He has wide open the senior receiver, Cam Jones. He has a first down over the midfield, and he'll get him into UTEP territory for second down and 10. Simmons setting up a screen pass. Throws, and it's almost intercepted, almost pulled off the Tony Romo, but he could not handle the interception, and so they live to play another down. Third down and 10 for John Simmons. He'll go long, and it's caught by David Morgan. What a streak by Morgan as he just runs a seam down the middle, splits the safeties, and UTSA has it inside the 10-yard line now facing third down and goal. Simmons under pressure, and he will be sacked back at his own 50, or actually at the 20-yard line. 
of UTEP, and that'll force Sean Iowa to come on and kick a field goal. He would make the 36-yarder, and UTSA takes back the lead 10-7, and UTEP has about 50 seconds to go before we reach halftime, so what does Simpson have in store? Garrett Simpson back in the pocket, wide open over the middle, caught short is Nathan Jeffrey on the dump off. That is good for about six yards, setting up second down and four, 35 seconds to go. Simpson, slant row, Patterson can't handle it, it's intercepted by Kyle Nichols, who pitches it back to Tristan Wade. What the hell is going on in the Alamo Dome right now? The ball ends up in the hands of UTEP after an interception and a pitch by the sophomore Kyle Nichols, as this player for UTEP is obviously discombobulated somehow, as he's high-fiving his invisible friend. And here's a replay of what just happened. It was a drop pass that was picked off by Kyle Nichols who pitched it back to Tristan Way to get a return and Tristan wasn't ready for the pitch and UTEP takes over after a huge risk does not pay off UTSA hands UTEP a gift and Simpson almost gives it right back Tristan Wade almost made up for missing the pitch and will set up third down in 10 20 seconds to go Garrett Simpson handoff Nathan Jeffrey looking to bounce it outside he'll get maybe a yard on the play that brings up fourth down and nine as UTSA calls timeout and then I'll bring out the field goal unit for UTEP as they try to tie this game before the half it's a 51-yard attempt for Steven Vallad as the kick is up. It's sailing, and it splits the uprights. Good. What a kick by Vallad as, and that's 10-10 to -10 now. We will transition to the second half. What a game it's been thus far. UTSA in a deadlock with UTEP as UTEP takes the ball over on offense to begin the third quarter. Simpson immediately a quarterback draw, a design quarterback run. He will keep it for four yards, and that will be a solid gain on first down. So second down and six. Simpson fakes the handoff to Nathan Jeffrey, throws it to the left side, and no chance, it's intercepted by Nick Johnston, a loop-de-loop -loop around the receiver, and he will get the ball out of bounds inside the 30-yard line, UTSA ball after another mistake by Garrett Simpson, and UTSA has made a lot of quarterbacks pay this year with interceptions and getting turnovers, and Simmons won six on this play, but he overthrows Brandon Freeman, David Morgan also in the vicinity, second and ten coming up now, handoff Anthony Banks looking to go up outside and we are getting word that David Glasgow was shaken up in the first half and that Anthony Banks will actually play the rest of the game at halfback so third down and 15 Banks takes the draw as UTSA plays it conservative and just wants to regain their lead they'll put out Sean Iano again as he drills this field goal just over the crossbar it's 13 to 10 and 1 minute 41 seconds remaining in the third quarter, Garrett Simpson takes the snap, he'll lead his receiver on the right side, and you can see this pressure and the interceptions are definitely getting in his head, he played it very conservative on that throw and overthrew his man by a ton. But luckily Bell comes back and gets the first down up the middle, and they have second down and seven. I need to get to the UTSA 46 to convert. Hand off to Bell. He can't get outside. He's gang tackled by two UTSA defenders. Led on the charge by Cody Rogers, the senior outside linebacker. Third down and eight for Garrett Simpson. Clean pocket to throw. And what a catch by Patterson on the sideline, making up for that drop he had earlier. That resulted in an interception. And he finally comes back and gets a completion. And now it's first down. UTEP as Simpson. Now he wants to go long. And Nichols has it. The deuce. The second interception of the day for Kyle Nichols. And what a year he has had so far. That is his fifth interception in six games. Roadrunners football, Simmons off of the read option, he will throw, he'll fire it to Cam Jones, flying across the middle, he'll juke out one defender and then take a shot across the 25, it's first down for UTSA, we'll go to second down and 13, Simmons rolling out, he sees green and he takes off and he will get close to the first down, about two yards shy and they come out in the single back, hand off to Anthony Banks, tries to hurdle and get past the offensive line and he is tackled in mid-air and will be short of the first down and UTEP takes over as we go into the fourth quarter. Garrett Simpson, the senior quarterback, he will be back to throw out of the shotgun. Simpson going long, it's intercepted again, the fourth time for Simpson. It's intercepted by Nick Johnston, and he will have it at the 42-yard line. Another risk that does not pay off for Garrett Simpson, being way too risky with some of his decisions. And, ooh, Anthony Banks drops this pass. He was wide open, had some running room. And now the runner's out of the shotgun, Banks to Simmons right, he takes the draw play, looks to go up the middle and he runs into the back of the left guard and he will not get any running room, third and nine coming up now. 
Twin tight ends for Simmons. Pressure off the left edge. It's given up, and Banks will catch a desperation throw by Simmons, but he will actually lose two yards in the play, and UTEP once again takes over. Their defense playing very well in this matchup, and five minutes to go for Simpson. He's made some mistakes today, but he has the opportunity to make up for them if he can get UTEP down the field. He hits Patterson for a first down, and now second and ten. UTSA trying to force Simpson to make another mistake. He'll take off knowing the option, and UTSA cannot defend it. Across midfield, Tristan Wade gets him out of bounds, and Simpson tricks the defense on that play. They were looking for the pitch the whole way and forgot about the running ability that Simpson possessed. So is first and 10 now inside of UTSA territory. Bell back up the middle. Another big gash in this defense. He's into the second level and down in field goal range as UTEP is at least prime distance to tie this game up. Now UTSA sends the blitz, it's picked up, Simpson goes long for Harper, he holds it in inside the 10 yard line at the 5, what a catch by Harper in traffic, second down and goal, Simpson wants to take off, no running room and UTSA takes him down, he'll lose a yard on the play and force third down and goal, big down for the UTSA defense. Simpson will throw, looks to the end zone, it's covered well by UTSA, and Simpson pretty much just throws this one away. It's an erratic pass that falls incomplete, and Vladez comes back out to tie this game up at 13 apiece on fourth down and goal. Kick is up, it is good from the right hash as the short field goal ties the game up 13 to 13 as UTSA has the ball inside of three minutes to go. John Simmons to throw, off balance of his back foot, he finds Cam Jones for seven yards, but it will force third down and three. What a play this would be for UTEP if they could get them off the field. But Morgan hauls in the grab as Simmons was hit on the pass. But he got enough on him to get it to Morgan. And he has a short conversion but now facing third and eight. They need it again. And David Morgan comes through the second time. A clutch catch in traffic. UTEP can't get UTSA off the field. It's second down and nine. Inside of one minute to go, both teams have all three timeouts. Simmons back to the pass. He's hit and sacked back at his own 45-yard line. A big loss. It'll force third down and 17. That was a play UTEP needed. Hank Marshall on the sack. Third down and long now for John Simmons out of the shotgun. Spreads out the field. Drops back to throw. He'll throw it long. It's caught. Whitaker touchdown. Tim Whitaker, the freshman. He's done it. UTSA takes the lead with 19 seconds remaining. What a catch by Tim Whitaker as he streaks past the safety who is with him. But a perfect throw by John Simmons and UTSA say does it again the celebration has already begun but the game is not over the 52 yard touchdown gives UTSA the lead but Garrett Simpson is not done yet 15 seconds to go as UTEP has it at their own 35 yard line out of the shotgun Garrett Simpson with Bell to his left Takes the snap. Only time for a couple of plays to go. Slant knocked away by Jason Holmes. Excellent coverage. Third and one coming up now. Out of the shotgun again. Trips left for Simpson. He's back to throw. Another four-man rush. No pressure. Goes long. Incomplete. Out of bounds. Tristan Wade almost comes with another interception. And with six seconds on the clock, maybe time for one or two more plays. Simpson, slant route, Patterson, he's got it first down, and the Miners get the timeout off with two seconds remaining. Time for one last hope. Garrett Simpson needs a 50-yard touchdown. Back to throw. He'll let it fly down the field. Five and one. Do you believe it? UTSA holds on and puts the UTEP Miners away as they have reached the midpoint of the season at five and one. There is a lot to be excited about right now in San Antonio as UTSA has jumped out to a tremendous start to the season. And next week, UTSA takes on a tough UCF squad that has cracked the top 25 and is undefeated on the year that'll be quite the matchup next week guys but thank you for watching we'll see you next week another week another win for the UTSA Roadrunners hope you guys enjoyed the episode if you did please leave a like rating below as well as your feedback on the episode what you thought of it if you thought it was a good episode what you just thought overall in general the commentary and we're gonna look at some recruiting now before we conclude week seven and move on to week eight of course a big matchup is brewing next week between UCF and UTSA a highly anticipated matchup now is also Evan Newton is coming off of his injury but John Simmons has played very well over the course of the two and a half games 
games he's had to play. He's undefeated as a starter and has helped UTSA get three wins. And so that bolds the question, who starts for UTSA next week versus UCF? Do they stick with the hot hand in John Simmons who has played well with Evan Newton's injury? Or do they hand the offense back to Evan Newton and give him back the starting role at quarterback? It's a very interesting situation right now as UTSA is one win away from being a bowl-eligible team. We'll take a look at the top 25 polls right now. Texas currently leads the NCAA with LSU and Oklahoma trailing them, USC, Texas A&M. And obviously you'll see UCF is ranked 13th in the nation. And UTSA has never beaten a ranked opponent before. We'll take a look at the Heisman watch, and Blake Bortles, quarterback from UCF, is right now in the talk for the Heisman race, and he is the man UTSA tries to defend against next week. Of course, UCF currently leads the Conference USA. They are undefeated at 6-0. We'll take a look at the statistical breakdown now for your UTSA Roadrunners. Both quarterbacks have played well, and Anthony Banks has definitely helped the running game, getting all of the shotgun snaps. And receiving-wise, Kenny Harrison and Cam Jones lead the team in receiving, and Cody Rogers and Kyle Nichols are leading the team on defense. Look at all these interceptions. UTSA has played some inexperienced and low-rated quarterbacks this year, and that's contributed to a lot of opportunities for turnovers, and UTSA has not wasted them. Next week, showdown versus UCF. 6-0 versus 5-1. Can UTSA pull it off again? and become a bowl-eligible team next week. Thank you for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.